Hey everybody, Food Outlaws back with you again. We got a sauce review today. We got uh, three more bottles from our box set of Bushel and Pex hot sauces. We love these guys because they're a craft sauce company. They use all natural ingredients for their sauces and they have some of the shortest ingredients list you'll see. It's all natural product. Uh, can't say enough about these guys. These uh, sauces we have here, we didn't feel were hot enough for a challenge, so we are going to uh, review these one at a time. Tell you what we think of the taste, uh, if there is any heat, and if we would buy it again. Uh, as per usual, we got our Johnny Scoville Chase the Heat Spoons, because we like tasting uh, the hot sauce and not some uh, metal taste from some of those other spoons out there. We do enjoy our wooden spoons we have with the Food Outlaw engraving on it from uh, Pepper Princess, but we value them so much we hardly use them. Yeah. But uh, back to the product at hand, the first sauce we're going to look at is Bushel and Peck's Cherry Bomb Sauce. It says highly addictive hot sauce with a pop of heat and smokiness. Uh, if you go to the ingredient list here, it's Cherry Bomb, Pepper, Vinegar, water, garlic, spice, and salt. That's it. You got like seven ingredients in this one. That's pretty I'm amazing. Simple. <clears throat> yeah, most of the sauces, when we read the ingredients, you got all kinds of a long list, a paragraph basically, and some of the stuff that you really don't need in there. Yeah, like but, vinegar. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, most sauces have vinegar. I think 99% uh, that I've seen. I don't know if I've seen one without vinegar or not. But if they make one without vinegar, that would be nice for us. Yes. If anybody knows if it's necessary to put vinegar in a sauce, please comment below because I don't know. I haven't looked it up. I'm not intelligent enough from that note. Oh, this one smells good to me. It's got an interesting smell. It smells like a smoky flavor. I guess because it is a smoky sauce. Yeah. I, I'm over two right now. One of my favorite things to smell in cooking is liquid smoke. But a little bit of that goes a long way, I've learned. Got a nice pour to it. Yeah, it comes out nice and even. It's not too runny, barely consistent. Once again, this is the Bushel and Peck's Cherry Bomb Sauce. All right, bottom's lit. Let's see what we think. Mm, not bad for me. No. You'd have to try a little bit more. Go get some chicken or something. It's got a little spicy kick at the end of it that kind of got me in the throat. Chicken and pork chops. I think, yeah, you can mix this in like a little bit of barbecue sauce, marinate something up, be pretty tasty. Yeah, I kind of like it. I'm going to give it a high rating, I'm going to give it a 6. Uh, flavor for me, I'll give it a 7. Heat, there is a little bit of kick at the end, but not very much. A mm -hmm. little bit on the tongue now, I'll give it a 2. I'll go half a 2. Overall, would I buy it again? If I seen it out on a shelf at a regular store, yeah, I might pick it up again. Is that good enough for me? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, definitely one I'll keep around at the house and use for myself. Moving on to sauce number two from Bushel and Pecks. This is Jalapeno Lime. It says a uh, classic full-bodied Verde hot sauce. Once again, one of the shortest ingredient lists I've ever seen. Jalapeno, vinegar, bell pepper, onion, lime juice, and salt. Once again, six or seven ingredients on there. And uh, like I say, these guys are all natural ingredients. Uh, yeah. None of those uh, taste fillers and thickeners and all that stuff. Uh, we're not the biggest fans of lime and stuff usually. Usually that don't go over well, so I'm not sure how this one's going to be. In terms of sauce thickness, it does look like a runnier sauce, but I'll give it a good shake just in case. That may be more like a salad kind of sauce. Yeah, that, yeah that's pretty good. Probably would work on that. This one's not as easy to get under. <laughs> Actually, it smells good though. It don't smell too bad. 
And something I've noticed with these craft sauces, with the natural ingredients, you don't get all that clog stuff here at the top. Every one of these is good and clean at the, the rim of the bottle or what have you on the neck area. Smooth, consistent pour. Got to be careful with this one though. It looks uh, fairly thin. Yeah. It's thin, but you can see some little chunks of stuff in there. All right, once again, this is jalapeno lime, bushel and peck. That's not bad. Yeah, I have to agree. Not bad at all. Keep that with that on a salad. Try this again. It's got a good taste. Can't believe it, like two sauces in a row. Yeah, pretty tasty. I can see me eating this on something. Flavor for me on this one is one point lower than this one. I'll give it a six. Heat scales a little bit less. I didn't really get much burn on that. Plus it's jalapeno. So I'll give it a one for heat. But uh, definitely, definitely could see me using it. I give it a six on taste and a one for heat as well. Now on to our third option here from uh, Bushel and Pecs. This one looks the most interesting. This is uh, Belizean Habanero. I'm guessing it's from Belize. It says a Central American uh, hot but not too hot sauce. On the back here for ingredients, uh, carrots, vinegar, habanero, honey, lime, and garlic. Once again, lime, but I don't know how prevalent it'll be in here. Uh, I'm interested to see if I can taste this uh, honey, carrot, and garlic. All these ingredients sound pretty appealing to me. Sound good. This one looks a tad thicker than the Verde, but uh, the Cherry Bomb seems to be uh, the, the thickest, thickest sauce. Out of all three. <clears throat> this one actually smells like uh, a Frank's or a Texas Pete or something. Something like that. I bet the Habanero is what's going to be prevalent, and this will actually have a little heat for it. This is Bush and Peckle, Belize, Habanero. Bush and Pecks, I mean, my bad. Yeah, uh, Bushel and Pecks. Here we go. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, this is my least favorite one. But oh, yeah, one. you know me, I gotta try it again. <laughs> I tasted the vinegar right away in that one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure what I would put this one on. <coughs> Don't know if I can really taste the garlic or anything. Maybe the carrot. Definitely the habanero. <coughs> Slight throat burn for this. Nothing really on the tongue yet. No. Uh, flavor for me on this one. Eh, I'm not the biggest fan. I'm only going to give it a three. Heat, I give it a one. I give it a one and a one. We'll send this one to our good friend, Iron Gut Jeff Gibson, see if he likes it. These two, we may experiment on some food items because they're fairly tasty for us. Yeah. But uh, overall, a great line of sauces, great company. Once again, it's all natural ingredients every time. Uh, nothing but uh, rawest form of ingredients. We got none of the mess in the bottleneck that makes it hard to pour out. And uh, simple, but... Uh, Really cool uh, bottle designs with the labeling and stuff. And you can do this at bushelandpecks.com. Yeah, I will post that link in the description. Uh, like I say, ours came in a box set. We have a few more bottles that we're going to review, uh, but on a separate video. But as far as that goes, we're going to wrap this up here. Uh, once again, uh, this is a product that we would recommend. We like most Great of their man. sauces. We just we're not a very, uh, that's not the one. We weren't a big fan of this one, yeah. The Belizean Habanero. But these other two, they were really good, worth buying. Yeah, we go those guys a thumbs up. But uh, yeah, uh, quick sauce review. Uh, we've got more stuff coming down the pipe, a lot more reviews and a lot more challenges. 
We have a special noodle challenge that came in the mail. As you guys know, I struggle with noodle challenges sometimes, so I'm kind of looking forward to it, but I'm also kind of dreading it. Uh, that ought to be coming uh, your way soon. As far as that goes, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the Thanks next one.